In this video, we're going to look at how to prove the visibility results using mathematical induction. For our example, we're going to prove that 3 to the 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 7 for all n that are element of positive integers. There are generally three steps to mathematical induction proof. The first step, we need to prove that the base case is true. The second step is to prove that the stepping case is true. And the third step is the conclusion. So to start off, I'm going to say, let Sn be the statement that 3 to the 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 7 for all n that are element of positive integers. Another word, we can rewrite this as 3 to the 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the n minus 1 is equal to 7 times n, where n is also a positive integer. Our first step then is to prove true for n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1 is our base case since we're given that n is an element of positive integer and 1 is the first positive integer. So all we need to do is just substitute n for 1 and evaluate. So we're going to get S1 is 3 to the power of 2 times 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 3 cubed plus 2 to the 0, and this is equal to 27 plus 1, which is 28, and 28 is a multiple of 7. So therefore, we can say that Sn is true for n is equal to 1. The second part is to prove that the stepping case is true. For this part, we're going to need to assume that Sn is true for n is equal to k, and then we need to prove that the statement will remain true for n is equal to k plus 1. So from the statement sk, to get the statement sk plus 1, all we need to do is substitute k for k plus 1. And we want to prove that this sk plus 1 statement is also divisible by 7. So sk plus 1 can be written as 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1, which simplifies to 3 to the power of 2k plus 3 plus 2 to the power of k. And using the index law, we can express this as 3 to the 2k plus 1 times 3 squared plus 2 to the k minus 1 times 2 to the 1. And you might be wondering why I did this. But the reason is because I want to get this sk plus 1 statement as close as possible to my sk statement so that we can use the result that it is divisible by 7. So when we simplify this, we're going to get sk plus 1 being equal to 9 times 3 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the k minus 1. And we're going to split up the last term 2 times 2k minus 1 into 9 times 2 to the k minus 1 minus 7 times 2 to the k minus 1 so that we can now factorize the 9 from the first two terms as follows. We now have 9 times 3 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the k minus 1 and again minus 7 times 2 to the k minus 1. But what do we notice? Well, this 3 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the k minus 1 is essentially our sk statement, which we have made the assumption that it is divisible by m. So we can replace this with 7m. So our next line becomes sk plus 1 is now equal to 9 times 7m minus 7 times 2 to the k minus 1. And we now have a common factor 7 which we can factorize out to get 7 times 9m minus 2 to the k minus 1. So what we've just proven is that sk plus 1 is also divisible by 7. So therefore, sn is true for n is equal to k plus 1. The last part of the proof is the conclusion. We start by saying sk plus 1 is true if sk is true. But since S1 is true, S1 plus 1, which is S2, is also true. And since S2 is true, S2 plus 1, which is S3, is true, and so on. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, we can conclude that Sn is true for all n which are elements of positive integers. Thank you for watching the video. Hope that was helpful. 
If you're interested in videos on other topics, do check out our channel. We upload videos weekly. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.